Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. Hello, my name is Gavriel Rudin from Ottawa, Ontario. In this week's Parsha, we meet one of the most interesting characters in the Torah. We meet a man named Bilam. Bilam, the Torah tells us, was a prophet, someone who could communicate with God. Even so, as we see throughout the story, he was not a very righteous person. On the one hand, he keeps saying that I can't do anything without God's permission. But on the other hand, everything he does seems to be against what God really wants from him. And he has no problems cursing and harming God's people. How could this be? I think the key to understanding Bilam and perhaps an insight into our relationship with Hashem as well, can be found in one very simple conversation that Bilaam has. As Bilaam's traveling along the road, riding on his donkey, his donkey veers off the path once, twice, and stops in the middle of the road. Each time, Bilaam hits his donkey. After the third time of being hit, the donkey turns around and says to Bilaam, Why did you hit me? Bilaam responds, because you made a mockery of me. And the donkey said, is this something that I'm accustomed to do? Bilaam is forced to respond, no. I think the most fascinating part of this conversation is not what's in the conversation, but what's not in the conversation. At no point does Bilaam acknowledge that he is talking to a donkey. This was a great miracle that Hashem did to allow the donkey to speak to Bilaam Yet Bilaam seems to not even notice. How could that be? Hashem in our lives gives us free will. Free will does not just mean the ability to physically choose between good and evil. That's true as well. But if we had the level of clarity, which didn't allow us to doubt in any way the existence of God, the fact that he gave us the Torah and our obligation to keep it, practically we would have no free will. If we understood the dangers of doing a sin and the harm that that caused us, and we understood it like the danger we would, the danger of walking into a fire, then we would never be tempted to sin ever. Physically, yes, we would have free will, but practically we wouldn't. And therefore, God allows our minds to wander, allows our minds to doubt, is there really a God? Did he really give us the Torah? And is, and is this really what he wants from us? Because God doesn't just want us to serve him. He wants us to have a choice. He wants us to choose to serve him. And I think the ultimate example of this is Bilaam. Bilaam was a person who spoke to God. He understood very well who God was. He understood that he couldn't do anything without God's permission. Yet, throughout the story, he keeps convincing himself that what he's doing is okay. God didn't explicitly prohibit what he's doing. God never told him, you must turn back. And therefore, he rationalized his actions and said what he was, what he was doing was okay. To the point where even when God sent a talking donkey to Bilaam, the ultimate message, a miracle right in his face, Bilaam completely ignores it and just goes on and continues to do what he is doing. People often ask me, why doesn't God talk to us today? Why doesn't God communicate with us? And the answer is that he does. He's there at every street corner. If we're looking for God, we see miracles every single day. The miracles of how plants grow. The miracles of how our bodies, for the most part, functions the way it should. The miracles of childbirth the miracles of modern science, those small coincidences where we happen to meet the right person at the right time to get the job we so desperately need. When we're working really hard on a project and everything just seems to fall into place, all that is God talking to us. All that is God sending us a message. I'm here, I'm running the world, and I'm helping you, and I love you. And if we're looking for those messages, 
we will see them at every single street corner. But if we're not looking for those messages, if we turn a blind eye, then God could send us a talking donkey and it won't have any effect on us. Have a great Shabbos.